what is new in the official build of AOSP Extended or AEX, the version being 8.4 based on Android 11 running on the POCO F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you what is new in the official build of AOSP Extended or AEX, the version being 8.4 based on Android 11 running on the POCO F1. The first change you will notice is that the security patch has been updated to July 2021. The kernel they are using is Shiva's no name kernel. AC Linux of course is set as enforcing. Next up you will notice that the default camera application has been changed to Gcam Go. Of course, feel free to install Gcam 8.1 on this build as well. Then if you go into the option of Mi Extras, here you will notice that you can now change your vibration strength for calls and notifications. And you also have vibration wave patterns. This is something similar to the call vibration patterns which you have on Oxygen. OS. Next up, while we are still in Mi Extras, we can go into System Tweaks here and go into Per App Profile and let us select AEX Papers. Scroll all the way down and you have a new toggle to keep the device awake while the app is active. So this is a new toggle which can be configured on a Per App basis. Next up, let us go into Settings and go into Extensions. First of all, you will notice that the bottom navigation bar for extensions has gotten a new UI or a new look. Then if you go into the second option, which is your quick settings panel here in select quick settings, you have a new option to show the battery estimated, which is remaining battery life in your quick settings header. Next up, we can go into the last option, which is your system. Herein, we can go into customization and if you go into headline and body font, a new font has been added and this one is OnePlus Sans and that is the font which we are using right now. Then if you go into lock screen clock style, you will notice that you now have a preview of the lock screen clock right here on the screen and of course they have added some new clocks as well. Then if you go into apps and notifications, notifications and scroll down, you have a new toggle of notification sound if active. So here and you can enable or disable your notification sound when the screen is turned on. Other than that, they have also made some changes for banking apps so that you do not have any issues with banking apps and while we're talking about banking apps we can check for safety net so yes safety net is passing out of the box and we can also go into the google play store settings go into about and play protect certification device is certified which of course means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues next up in terms of youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine live caption works picture in picture works of course for picture in picture to work either you need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to purchase youtube premium as for your photos google photos you either have original quality which is going to count against your account or you can have storage saver as unlimited and next thing we can check for is the feature of portrait light by trying to edit a picture of my favorite football star and we can go back edit it one more time wait for the loading bar to finish and once that is done you can go into adjust portrait light bam here it is available and working without any issues super important thing to note over here is that portrait light only works on human objects if i try to edit a picture of my chicken friend portrait light will not work as for the assistant lady the lady is present and she'll help you with the screen turned on and with the screen turned off next up we can also check for app opening animations to see if there are any lags in the ui or any jitters nothing so far everything is smooth recents again super smooth and super fast let us have a look at the google feed as well again no jitters no lags everything is absolutely fine then we can also try to switch between a few applications as you can see no jitters no lags everything is super smooth and this is of course something which we have come to expect from AOSP extended 
and there it is peeps that is what was new in the latest build of aosp extended or aex version 8.4 based on android 11 running on the xiaomi poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you